One of the most common questions we get about the Moffett system is can I strike to set the hook the way I usually do? And the answer to this question is a definite yes. This is usually followed by the statement, but you're not supposed to strike when using a circle hook. To this we have to respond both yes and no. A circle hook by definition has its point at a 90 degree angle to the shank. To engage, it must roll into position exposing the hook point. It can only do this when it encounters an edge. The necessary edge to set a circle hook when it has been taken into a fish's mouth can only be found at the corner of the jaw. The conventional prohibition against striking with circle hooks is to allow the fish's movement to orient the hook into this critical position. If the angler pulls before the hook has reached this position, the hook often pulls free or gains minimal purchase, leading to the fish being lost during the fight. The difference with the Moffett system is that the fish only takes the fly into its mouth and not the hook. In order to hook the fish, the angler needs to strike quickly after the fish has taken the fly. This will draw the hook toward the fish's jaw. Here, a properly designed and rigged circle hook will find the necessary edge to engage along the entire jawline. The outside of the jaw on many species of fish provides such a wonderful edge to setting a circle hook that we have found we can use far smaller hooks than we ever thought possible and still land fish. Trout and salmon over 10 pounds have been landed on size 18 circle hooks, and a size 10 circle is the hook of choice for steelhead fishing. The really good news about fishing with the Moffett system is that the small circle hooks, along with the way you rig them, with the tippet emerging from the underside of the hook's eye, greatly reduces the chance of foul hooking a fish as compared to fishing with J-hooks. Mm -hmm.